All right, so I hope that this is uh, recording. I hope this is working the way that I think it's working. So I can completely ignore what's on my screen. I know there's a webcam looking at me. Hi, I'm Jonathan, and uh, I'm about to take the Jeopardy test. I have 16 minutes until we get started, and I am getting more nervous as we go. I hope this is all recording correctly. I hope that you can hear me. So, I've taken the Jeopardy test before, and can't really say how well I did. I didn't record it. I did not. Uh, I just kind of took it and did my best, and that's that, right? So, I don't know how I did. I imagine that I got more than half of them right. They tell me, people tell me, I have people, people tell me that um, it takes, some people say 35. Some people say 38 to 39. Some people say 45. I believe it's probably a sliding scale. I'm talking about the number of answers that you have to get right in order to qualify to be called in to take a in-person test. And <clears throat> so my goal is to obviously try and get enough right so that I can accomplish that because one of my bucket list items one of my dreams is the opportunity to compete on jeopardy for those of you who don't know i am the host of a podcast called trivial warfare we are the podcast that takes the pub quiz out of the pub and brings it home to you um it's not a video podcast in fact i'm terrible on video and just so you know as i take the test i'm probably going to ignore you except for a few murmurs here and there so I'll talk if I can remember, like if I answer something really quick, I might say if something after it, but this isn't really a show. This is more for people who are just interested in seeing how I do on the test or even comparing themselves to me. One of the things that I've learned doing Trivial Warfare is that people like to compare themselves to me. And once upon a time, I thought that I was a pretty good trivia player. Truth be told, I'm an okay trivia player. I'm above average, but um, average is not very good at trivia, right? You, <laughs> if you like trivia, you're probably in the top 90% of people who are good at trivia <laughs> overall. Um, I just made that stat up, and as everybody knows, 12% of all stats are completely made up on the spot. So I'm, I've lost my train of thought. I'm rambling a bit because I'm nervous and I want to get this, uh, get this thing started. Um, so I'm trying to get to 45. That'd be amazing. What I'm told is that these are all quote unquote $2,000 questions. So these are the questions that would appear on the bottom of the game board, which are typically the hardest questions. Oddly enough, just because they're a hard question on Jeopardy doesn't mean they're necessarily a hard question. It's about how much you know. It's about what um, topics you know things about. And it, if it's something that you're good at, it might be very easy for you. It's, oh, I was saying, um, doing Trivial Warfare has revealed to me that there are so many really fantastic trivia players out there. So many of my listeners um, are better than me. <laughs> so... Um, I don't necessarily expect to show really well, but there's always that chance. And so, especially since it's online, I'm not having to go somewhere and take my time to do it. Um, it makes sense to take that chance. It's a bit of a, it's a bit of a tough week, to be honest with you. We have a hurricane bearing down on us. I live in Jacksonville, Florida, and Hurricane Matthew is a Category 4 that's currently uh, just gone past Cuba, and it's uh, heading over, probably sitting on the Bahamas right now, or getting up to the Bahamas. Um, I'll be evacuating tomorrow. Hmm. Something just banged on my ceiling. I'll be evacuating tomorrow, actually. I would have liked to evacuate tonight, but I have this little test that I have to take. <laughs> And I wasn't going to miss it. So I'm evacuating in the morning and I'm hoping that all of the people decided to evacuate tonight so that the road will be nice and clear for me tomorrow when I grab Sebastian and we get on it.
Oh, Joshua Joshua Winrick just pledged ten dollars. A new captain on uh, the TWA. Freaking awesome! Thank you, Joshua. That is really exciting. Seven minutes and fifteen seconds. I've had a few friends who have already taken the test last night. I heard somebody say they got 25. Somebody said they got 35. Somebody said they got 42. Lee, I'm looking at you. It's interesting how even when you don't set your own personal expectations very high and you try and downplay what you are expecting out of it, it still amps you up. You still get nervous. You still get um, jittery over the chance that you're going to do well or do poorly so I've, I've tried to limit my expectations and I'm still over the top amped up right now alright we got 58 seconds left oh there it is there's the music I was right it's going to deafen me I wonder if you guys can hear that I don't think you can the Jeopardy final, final Jeopardy music is playing right now Here's the countdown. And here we go. Ian Fleming, um, he of the James Bond books. I'm always going to wait for the 15 seconds, by the way. Oh, that's loud. Mystique, this is um, 2016. I didn't know they had an X-Men film. Lawrence? Jennifer Lawrence, I think. Definitely Darwin. I think Galapagos, Turtles, Evolution, Darwin. North and South, I think it's Kansas. Either Shinto or Confucianism. I'm probably wrong. I don't know how you spell it. It's Mark Anthony. I've got to stop focusing on you guys. Shrimp soup. Shrimp scampi. Shrimp gumbo. Shrimp etouffee. Ball shrimp. crap uh, may they do a maypole uh, that's all i got i got nothing on may ho holidays i hate holidays i think a red kangaroo is a thing these colors feel right Well, Denmark. I I don't know. I'm just guessing. I got nothing. Count the letters. Yay, there's eight letters there. Woo! <clears throat> Even if it's wrong, you got to give me credit. I know that's right. no idea I'm guessing Adriatic because Bosnia Herzegovina is there but that's a, just a pure guess I'm 
I, no idea once again. I, I've never heard that, I don't think. I just read something about Forster. I hope it's right. All right, deep breath. I used to know it. I don't freaking know it right now, though. I can't think of it. Um, beating myself over that bone marrow question. I know it's in there somewhere. I can't even get it halfway out of my brain, though. It, it's terrible. Ooh. This is where travel helps. I'm guessing. Um, I'm hoping it's wilder. It feels like our town, maybe. I got nothing really. Uh, we had a Catherine the Great question the other day on our show. I know she was a ruler. It sounds Russian. Hoping for the best. I don't know. I don't know. Dinar, I, I, I have no idea. It feels like frost, but I don't know. We've reached the guessing portion of the game, folks. I, Bo Boeing or Northrop Grumman are the ones that came to mind. <clears throat> Finally a gimme. I did a Mr. Robot question for our Rob Cesternino episode. That that feels right. Uh, I just heard this the other day and I can't think of it. That doesn't feel right. It's either a column or a buttress. I gotta go with a column. Missouri River and Missouri Compromise question are the same thing. Somebody wants us to show them something.
That doesn't actually feel right now that I think about it, but it's too late to do anything about it. A full bull. <clears throat> that took a second. <laughs> Another freaking airline, really? I, I think, I mean, Australia. It's got to be Qantas, doesn't it? I hope I spelled that right. This, this one, this was the easiest question. Love this. They should make you pronounce it. I, I got nothing. Kodiak. I think. That feels right. Is that where that bear guy died? You love those bears. Aaron Burr. <laughs> It's already two. That's eleven years ago. Crap, man. Fifty-one, I think. What? I mean, wouldn't that have to be majority vote? I hope. I O. Thank you, Carmela. I have good posture while I'm taking this and it's hurting my back. Twenty plus one, twenty three. Twenty plus one, yes, gotta be three. Cadet. All right, I feel like I'm doing okay. Not not great, but around about where I thought maybe. I need to finish strong. Shoot. Serbia. Zagreb? It, no, Zagreb is Croatia. I don't know the capital of Serbia. I'm sorry. This is wrong, but I don't know the right answer. Uh, uh, Dan Quayle, Dan Quayle. Yeah, Dan Quayle. God, it's been a while. I think that's the name of boats. Vermeer Van Dyke. Brown. Princeton, Columbia, Dartmouth. Harvard, Yale, Pennsylvania, I think it's Brown. Oh, shoot. This is so wrong. I don't have any idea. I 
I got nothing. Symbols. Well, there we go, folks. I just finished the online test. I'm going to go get to review how I did. I wanted to finish strong with those last eight, and I feel like I only got half of them. I feel like I, I said I was probably going to get 32. I feel like I probably got around 32. Maybe some of my guesses were okay. No, oh, it's frustrating. There was, there was a couple more. I did my best. I'm not ashamed. I hope everybody that uh, took the test tonight did a great job. Good luck to all of the Trivial Warfare listeners if you're taking the test. Hopefully, we'll get to see you on the big stage sometime soon. And hopefully, you'll get to see me on the big stage sometime soon. Until next time, uh, this has been Jonathan, uh, and this has been a odd little video episode of Trivial Warfare, where it's not just trivia, it's war. Bye, guys.